Make market versus paint gem. Rounds versus squares. Different price points. Which one's the best buy? Let's find out. What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name is Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea, and today I am talking about Make Market versus Paint Gem. Uh, these are two very different companies, different price points, different drills, diamonds. One is rounds, one is squares. What you get in the kits is very different from each other, so I want to show you all there is to see about both of these. Um, I'm going to start us out with our Make Market brand. Um, this one is available at Michael's. I have already unboxed this one just because I wanted to have that part out of the way for you. Same with the paint gems. Um, wanted to go over what you get in each kit. Um, just all of it, right? So I have selected their partials, little baby sets. Very much a, a kind of copy of what Paint Gem is doing online successfully. Um, and these are, I think... $15 is what I paid for this set here. They have many to choose from, similar to Paint Gem in that way. This one happens to be mushrooms. You can get flowers, you can get birds, you can get all sorts of things. But for an introductory to paint diamond painting, this I feel like is a, a very suitable choice, especially because some people who are just starting out with diamond painting, they're really, really intimidated by rounds. So um, in this kit, you get six, it tells you right on the box that you've got six four by six inch uh, or, you know, 10.16 centimeters by 15.24 centimeters. There is a difference, obviously, in the drill area. This is not a four by six drill, you know, whole drill area. It's counting the entire size of the canvas, but it is not counting the size of the actual piece itself. I have got a little baby fabric ruler here where we can kind of figure out what size we're looking at. So at the largest, it looks like about four inches. And then by about another four inches in size. Um, that's not too bad. I, I mean, I don't hate on it. Why not for 15 bucks and getting six pieces? That's not so bad at all. You do get your drills. This will be the drills that you will need for all pieces in here. So not just this piece and then the next and the next. It all comes together. They are labeled with letters, it looks like. And then the code on here does not match any DMC code I've ever seen. So I'm guessing it's probably Make Market's own numbering system. And then you've got a little kit here. Kit contents are pen, no squishy, uh, your two pads of your um, wax, and then a couple of multi-placers. It looks like a four and a maybe a five or a six. Kind of random in the coloring. That's weird. But, and then a, a bag. And then that is what you're getting in your make market. Before we continue on with that, let's see what we get in the paint gem. Now, I've opened the box. It comes with really fancy stuff. It's got a little slide-on thing here, but the contents of the box are here in my hands. We have all of the pieces come inside of this like little fold-in thing. The nice thing about this piece is it actually gives you tips and tricks and then how-to, what's included, all of it. And a QR code for getting some help from the company should you need it from Paint Gem. All right on the inside of the little box. I thought that was pretty handy marketing. We'll get that out of our way. And then this one for $35.90 because that's pretty much what they charge for every kit that you get there. Each theme, whatever. Um, has 16 different things, uh, paintings in it. You can also, from Paint Gem, get a wide variety of selection. Everything from mushrooms, birds, Easter eggs, as it was just Easter recently. Um, herstory, which is famous people, uh, famous women in history. Um, it has museum edition. It has uh, national parks edition. The list goes on, you guys. It's 
it's a wide, massive variety. Make Market, I feel like I remember seeing about six to eight varieties in the store, whereas Paint Gem is coming out with new kits all the time. So with these, you've got your paintings. I'm going to talk about the, the drills. The drills that you're going to get in each kit is a little bit different. Where there are rounds in the Make Market, they're also made of acrylic. Acrylic is not recyclable. It has a low melt temperature, not UV protected, so it can fade over time. Not as shiny because just acrylic just isn't. Whereas the Paint Gem has squares. These are also going to come in these plastic bags. These are in reusable Ziplocs. They have the stickers on them, which do include the DMC code or the color code that is used for both cross-stitch and for diamond painting. It, kind of universally, most companies use the DMC code. I'm not really certain as to why um, Make Market does not. It's a choice. But they have the DMC codes on them. You also receive a sticker with all of the different colors that you're going to have along with the symbol that corresponds. No sticker with Make Market. And then your toolkit, which is in a very nice canvas bag. And you get, oh, there we go. You get a pen with a squishy, a black squishy and a clear sparkly pen. You get two multi-place tools. Looks like a two or a three and maybe a, a eight or a nine. You're wrong on that. We also get a caddy with wax inside. Looks like one pad of wax and it's a little stuck in there so I'm not going to deal with that. And then your little baby sized tray for your diamonds and a pair of plastic tweezers. So pretty, diff pretty different in what is on offer. Obviously that $35 price point is going to afford you a little bit more as far as what you're going to get. Now, if you're scared of trying squares for the first time, the first time that I ever did a squares piece was actually a paint gem. And because each, each one only takes maybe an hour to two hours, it was not very intimidating at all. This is something that you could get done very quickly while you're on a break at work. Maybe not fully done, but you can at least get one good and started. Um, I will say that the plastic that is on the paint gem, it's very flimsy, very thin. Um, the canvas is very nice, very thick. And the glue, it, ooh, it is very sticky, sticky glue. Poured glue on that. And with the Make Market, they have a, a thicker plastic coating on, or plastic sheet on it, which I appreciate. It is almost a woven texture on their canvas as compared to this one, which is almost just just that very um, that canvas really with some, I guess, sparkly looking stuff on it. The glue on the Make Market is also pretty sticky. So... Honestly, it's going to depend on whether you like rounds or squares, getting a, a kit that's going to be less expensive versus a little more expensive. You're going to get a little more in it, right? So honestly, it's up to you if you like your rounds versus your squares, if you like something that is not going to cost a lot versus something that's going to cost a little more. This you get in store. These you get online. Um, it's really up to you. But whatever you're doing, as long as you're painting, that makes me happy. If you have any questions, please pop them down into the comments. Like this video if you want, if you liked the video. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me about diamond painting. I hope to see you guys again soon. And it's a beautiful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.